Okay, first you want to seed into the flip tube holder, then you want to start flip tube. Now that that's started, you want to choose option 2 for handshake knocker. Now choose your wireless interface. Now choose option 1 for all channels and a 2 bus for the reverse range. Now in the top left terminal you'll see all the IPs in the range. Wait for the one you're targeting to appear. Give it a couple of seconds after it appears. Then simply close the window. All the IPs will appear now. All the ones in green have clients attached to them. Ours isn't in green but we do know it's got a client so that should work fine as with option 20. Now choose option 2. Option 3 is a stronger deal method and can be chosen if option 2 isn't successful. Now choose your wireless interface again. Then choose option 1 pirate. Choose option 1 for 30 seconds and choose option 2. Now you want to concentrate on the top or left terminal. Wait for an handshake to be captured, it will be displayed on the top line. I lie, 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 once it appears, just to show you. There we go, it's appeared now. WPA handshake. Now you don't want to close this window. You want to wait for it to disappear on its own. On the window to the bottom left, it will just check that handshake and verify the ash inside it. And then it will close its window itself and carry on. Now that's done, select option 1 for another attack. Now we'll go back to the main menu. At which point you want to select captive portal. Now just press enter for yes. And again choose your wireless interface. And on the next page you want to choose it again. You do only need one wireless interface for this, don't worry about having two. It'll work on just one. Now choose the recommended options, option 1, and then choose option 1 again. This will use the handshake you've already taken, and it will quickly verify it. Choose pirate to verify it. There we go, it's verified. Now choose option 1 to create an SSL certificate. Now choose option 1 for disconnected. Option 2 is if you want to pull evil twin attack, which we don't. We're just going for the captive portal method. This page shows all the different captive portals. You can download extras if need be. If you know the route who you're attacking, you can choose the appropriate one as listed in the appropriate language. Or, as we're going to do, you can choose a generic portal. In our case, this will be in English, which is option 7. Now it will start the captive portal on the Evil Twin access point. What it will do now is disconnect any client from the IP you're attacking. It will make an Evil Twin of that IP and keep disconnecting them from their original IP, in which case they'll connect to the Evil Twin IP. At that point, it will pop up at the captive portal that you've chosen and require them to enter their password. If they enter the wrong password, it won't connect them. It'll check against the handshake you've already taken. They will need to enter the correct password for it to be accepted. As you can see on the bottom centre window, I'm doing this by an Android phone. The windows on the far left, both top and bottom, and the middle centre are very interesting to some. There's a lot of detail of the connections. I've just entered the correct password it now and it should check this against the handshake and display the password to, to the attacker. There we go, it should just 
right now. There you go, that's the password. Please note this isn't my original password. I have changed it for this demonstration. Although I have used a password that's in current standing for the Sky Network which I'm using, which is H uppercase token. It is different to my password though. I will iterate that just in case people are wondering. Now if you go in the Fluxion attack folders, you can go to the unshaped folder and see the unshaped capture. If you go back to the attack folder, you can go and captive portal, then into netlog, and you'll see a log of the passwords you've captured, as well as the SSID, the BSSID, the channel, the security, which will mainly always be for VPAP now. And of course the password. And that's it.